Hamstring.com here, today we're taking a look at PDF Reader iPad Edition. As you probably guessed by the name, it is a PDF reader that allows you to open PDF documents, uh, edit PDF documents, and manipulate PDF documents in various ways. So let's go ahead and jump into uh, PDF Reader. This is the opening screen and you will be able to browse your private folder, your iCloud folder, or your downloads folder. You could actually add a variety of folders. You could add as many folders as you like. But I have uh, one PDF document in our downloads folder right here. It's called iOS Support Matrix, and it's just a sample PDF document that I've prepared for us to view today. Uh, there's quite a lot of features. I will try to go through each one by one. But essentially, you're going to open the document, and this is your edit screen here. You could use the plus and minus to zoom in and out or you could just pinch and zoom just like this. You could also bookmark it by tapping the bookmark button. You could create a bookmark. We're going to go ahead and, can and uh, tap cancel. Um, there's a note function so you could actually add a note. So we're going to go ahead and click save and you will see this little note icon and you could tap on it and drag it around wherever you like. Uh, the coolest feature about the PDF reader here is the uh, little pencil button over here that will open up this window. Now this window actually lets you do quite a variety of things. You could tap on the text and enter text, tap save, and you will see text appear here. Now you could adjust the font size, the opacity, just grab the slider, and of course you could adjust the color and let's make this a little bigger. Sometimes it's a little hard to grab the color adjuster, but if you grab it, you could adjust the color as you like. And of course you can move it around. You could also do the same thing for the drawing pencil. You could draw stuff and in a similar manner adjust the color just tap save and uh, tap on what you've drawn and you could adjust the color the thickness of the lines and etc so that's pretty cool and if you want to get rid of it just tap and hold and tap delete and we're going to go ahead and get rid of this as well just tap to bring up the menu again and you could jump into settings and a variety of things you could do here you could search for a keyword you could jump to a page. So let's bring that back. You could print it. I don't have a printer connected, but you could go ahead and do that. And you could enable auto flow, enable auto flow speed. You could adjust it here. And lock horizontal and uh, lock the horizontal orientation. Uh, the PDF text. The, there's nothing useful for this particular one here but if you had text in the PDF document that would be pretty helpful and some general information and you could go ahead and email it. I'm going to go ahead and delete the draft and this is basically your edit screen for each document. Now let's go ahead and jump into the file browser here. In the settings there's actually quite a lot of things that you could do. I'm not going to go through each one of them but you could just briefly see what they are uh, there's AirPlay, you could enable that. There's Wi-Fi server authentication, you could enter your username and password for that. And there's different settings that you could go ahead and change in the settings for the general app here. You could also import pictures. I have one picture here. Uh, you could go ahead and tap on the photo library and that will bring up the photo library. Or you could use the camera to take a photo and it will convert it to a PDF. Uh, in a similar manner, you could actually do the same thing for websites by uh, tapping uh, browser download and that will bring up uh, the Safari uh, browser window in here and you could go ahead and type in an address and uh, save the web page and search for text and things like that. In the information here, uh, there's a variety of things you could do. I'm not going to go through each one of them, there's quite a bit. 
we've gone through the photos and you can add a folder let's go ahead and add a test folder I'll just call it test folder and as you can see it adds a folder here so as you can tell there's quite a lot of features in this PDF reader for the iPad I highly encourage you to go ahead and download it yourself and check it out for your PDFing needs uh, there's quite a lot of features I may not have uh, the time to go through all of them but I just gave you a quick glimpse into PDF reader for iPad so go ahead and check it out on the App Store.